What's going on my fellow reefers, March here, Fragbox TV, and I want to show you some beautiful new corals that we got in from Australia. Okay, before we get into that, as usual, I get sidetracked in every single video. If you guys, I've been thinking to do a video of sort of a store tour, so it's kind of cool. YouTube actually shows me where the viewers are watching from. So about half the viewers are in the United States and then 30% are in, I think, England, maybe 25, 30% Canada, but we get viewers from all over the world. So I realize a lot of you can't actually ever come here or may never come here and visit the store. So if you guys want a, store tour if that's something you think would be cool i'd be happy to do one uh, maybe comment below or give me a thumbs up on this video and then i can kind of walk through the store and give you i don't know sort of like a virtual youtube kind of presentation of the shelves and what's going on and maybe why i stock this doser and not another one or why i like those frag racks because i don't know it's kind of cool like i really part of the hobby for me as a hobbyist i really like the hardware i really enjoy building tanks, I like designing, I like setting them up, and then I like all the gadgets and all the tech and all the gear that goes um, into making a project like this happen and make that come to uh, fruition. So that's, that's really what I, I really like that part of the hobby. It's almost like its own hobby, like, like a sub hobby is just building the tanks. So if you guys think that would be interesting, I'll walk through the store and kind of give you a rundown of the shelves and talk about the different brands and stuff like that. But yeah, comment below, give me a thumbs up and I'll do that maybe for the next video. But yeah, let me show you some really cool corals we got in from Australia over here because they're really nice. So Australia has probably arguably some of the nicest hammer corals. So some very cool branching hammer um, when I order corals or when normally when you order corals, you don't really know what you're going to get. So it's kind of like gambling. Like I know the suppliers and I know what to expect and I know which supplier is good for hammer and which one's good for, um, you know, like open brain or plate corals. And they all kind of have different specialties that I know what looks good. But when you're ordering coral, you really just order off a list. You might get to choose the color or the size, but a lot of it is just an Excel sheet and you punch in some numbers and then you pray and hope that they show up healthy and colorful. And with this supplier, I can tell you they are just remarkable. Like I think we had here, this is our little DOA section on this order right here. So virtually nothing like, okay, it's upsetting. It's three dead corals. I never want to kill any corals, but to lose three torch corals on an order of about, I don't know, 400 something odd pieces. It's unheard of. These guys are super professional. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked again. I just gotta show you these hammers because they're so nice and the camera is never gonna pick up how nice they are in person. Like these are retina blinding, toxic, vibrant, vibrant green. And I really wanna show you this because I have never had one of these before. So I think it's pretty cool. It's right over here. Actually, I'm just going to change the setting on the on these radions here. If you haven't seen any of the other videos that we've made, we're running radion. Um, what are these? G4 Pros on our main coral bed here. But with our handy Apex controller, I can turn off the blue lights. I sent them to a, uh, a more white light. You're going to see these change in a second. And it's just easier for the camera to pick up, I think, the more accurate and true color of the coral under the white light. So what did I want to show you? before I got sidetracked. This over here, this is really cool. So this is actually a hammer frog spawn hybrid. So you can kind of see over here, you got a little bit of the hammer going on and the frog spawn and that's pretty unusual and rare coral right there. I think we only got two in. This is the first time I've personally ever seen one and uh, I've seen a lot of corals. We bring in thousands of corals. I've been doing this for quite a long time. So that's pretty rare and unique piece. These are really cool too. These are purple octospawn. And then again, the hammers are really, really nice. And these are really cool. If you have a small tank, like these are the cutest, like little plate corals. Let me go get something just for reference. I don't think it's showing off how small and amazing these are. My fellow Canadians, you know what that is, a toonie. And if you're not Canadian, this is a $2 coin. We call it here in Canada, a toonie. I'm just doing this for the video. Don't put money in your tank. This is not a koi pond, but you can see it's like not even as big as a toonie. So if you've got a small tank, like a Fluval Evo 
like that one there or something small, it'd be really cool because then you can watch them grow out instead of, you know, getting something that's already the size of a dinner plate. What else do we got here? I'm always talking about corals because corals are my uh, real passion. I really don't care all too much about fish. Sorry, fish. Sorry to say it. Corals is what got me into it. These are pretty cool. Unusual discosoma mushrooms. They kind of got some weird bumps on them. These are going to open up nicely, hopefully. Some leather coral. Okay, I got to show you this because this is just... I don't even know what's going on here. There is so much ocean on this rock. I, I have no idea what this is. We got the mushrooms that we wanted and then this black spongy sort of twiggy and then this amazing white. I don't even know. Is this a scallop or an oyster? Can I eat this? Maybe a mussel? There's just so and look at this thing coming over here. So much ocean, so much life just going on. Even this one over here on this rock. Sponges. It's pretty cool. Just a lot, a lot of ocean life on these mushroom rocks. Okay, what else? We have these very nice little open brain corals and some cyneria. Uh, no, not cyneria. Is this cyneria? Acanthophilia, sorry. Acanthophilia. Bubble coral. These are some beautiful acans from our last order. Just outstanding color. One of our very good local customers actually just shut down his tank. He's moving and he brought this in. This is something else. This is a rainbow dynamite chalice. He's been growing for probably a year. And also this Aiken that he grew up from a frag he bought here. Some beautiful spellbinders. Aiken Bauer Banky, that's quite rare. Some bounce mushrooms. So it's kind of sad. He's, uh, yeah, he's moving, so decided to shut down the tank. Brought us all the corals. They're for sale here on consignment. This is, I gotta show you, very cool chalice coral. Oh, sorry. And some unique favia. I'm really, really digging this. I think it's called Pagoda Cup Coral, something like that. Yeah, these are pretty cool. The Micromusas came really good. Kind of like a mini sort of Aiken. The Pipe Organ don't look too happy yet, but this is one of my personal favorite corals. I'm in love with Pipe Organ. I wish they would open up, but we've only had these in the store for a couple days, so. Here's just a quick example of a Pipe Organ when it's open and happy. It almost looks like a white sort of pulsing Xenia. I love that coral. But those ones, yeah, they should open up, we'll see. And then these hammers are just, wow, I can't even describe the color. They got this goldy, rusty, yellow, metallic sort of look to them. These came in exceptionally well. These are branching Duncan coral. Nice, big, fat colonies. Huge heads. These things are really big. And the torch, as always, Australia has some of the nicest torches. Unusual colors, super healthy. Blastomusa. Flower pot or Ganipora, Alviapora. I can't remember how to tell the difference. Cyneria. Uh, oh, you know what? If you've been looking for a Cyneria, this one is really nice. And I think Indonesia is banning the harvesting of all wild coral. So this is from Indo, and they're not currently farming them. So if you've ever thought about getting one, now's the time. These may soon become super expensive, super, super rare. This one is enormous. This is quite a showpiece here. It's not cheap, but um, expect these to really go up in price, I think, uh, in the coming year. This thing is just wild. Mother Nature, you make some cool corals, my friend. Really cool. These are actually from another shipment we got in. These are um, Tonga, like micro torches. So they stay small, they branch like crazy, and they get this cool kind of goldeny blue color to them once they color up. But they're, they're not gonna really come out the way torches do, like long like spaghetti. They stay short and stubby, really unusual and actually quite rare. Now this is a coral we don't get in too often. This is the highly coveted Ice Fire Enchinata. So deep water, very quite rare species of SPS. I think we only got this one piece on the entire shipment. Thankfully it came healthy. They don't always ship the best, but this one's looking pretty good and it gets the most remarkable butane blue fiery tips on it once it's colored up and and looking happy in a system but that's a really unusual piece that we don't get in too often here and then everybody's favorite clammy clams we got some really cool uh mary cultured aquacultured whatever you want to call it these are actually grown not harvested from the wild a mix of maxima and i believe squamosa that would be a squamosa maxima they're all quite small colors are crazy really really cool patterns super healthy not even one like DOA, they just came in looking really good, open, happy, perfect size to start small 
and then grow them out. We do have some larger ones from uh, another order. These are really nice too. If you have a bigger tank, you know the small clam's gonna get lost, but these came in really cool. I wish this guy would come out because these we almost never get. These are the Christmas tree uh, worm rocks, and these are very, very rare. There's some really cool red, green, orange ones hiding in there, but as soon as you pass by, they, um, they just shoot back into their hole. Maybe I can show you here by pissing them off. Whoop. They're like lightning fast. They're so much fun to close. I know I'm bothering it, but I just gotta, I can't help it. Bloop. So cool. Yeah, only three of them came in. They sold right away. I got this one left. So if you've ever been looking for one, grab it. This is a really cool piece. That's the Christmas tree. Um, what do they call them? Christmas tree worm rocks is what they're called. Yeah, but I think that's it. I'm covering some of the new corals we got in. You know, I love talking about this stuff. Everyone at the store is crazy about reef tanks. If you guys got any questions, hey, if we don't answer, I always put our contact info at the end of the video. What is going on over there in that tank? You see that? Crazy rasses. Oh, what are you doing, Mr. Rass? Anyways, if we don't answer, we get 100 emails a day from customers here in Canada. Maybe another 100 and change from people all over the world asking reef-related questions. We always do our best to answer everyone. So if we don't answer right away, just be patient with us. We're busy in the store right now with COVID and everything going on. But uh, hit us up. You can even call us. I'll, uh, check out our number on Google. This is, I think, the end of the video. Yeah, hit us up if you got any questions, guys. And if you want to see that store tour video, just comment below and then I'll know that you want to see it. And uh, I'll go ahead and do that one of these days for you. But thanks for watching. This is Fragbox TV and happy reefing.